So let me introduce you to the first Mac that I've bought in over eight years. This is the guy right here, the Mac Mini, but this is the M1 Mac Mini. To be more specific, it's got the uh, 16 gigs of RAM, M1 chip, 512 gigs, all the good stuff. Let's open it up because no one else on the internet has done that yet, so why don't we do it right now? Okay, so pretend there's plastic on this and I just undid the plastic, okay? Just, just pretend. Go along with me there. All right, there we go. It looks just like every other Mac Mini. In fact, ow, here is a Mac Mini from, other than the unique um, styling I have added to it. This is one from, I think, 2012. So quite a while ago, this one I didn't buy brand new. I was talking about my laptop earlier, but uh, this one I bought refurbished and it no longer works. It has a bad logic board. So this one was on the shelf. It kept being stupid. So pretty much unchanged as far as the design, right? So we'll set that aside, come back to it in just a minute. So all wrapped in this nice plastic as usual. Not too bad. And then underneath we've got this stuff. I think there's a sticker. Yeah, one sticker. Nice. And power cable. And that is, that is it. That is all you get with these because I have my own keyboard and mouse and monitors. I've got a few monitors around here. So let's shut that, throw that stuff back in. Shut that guy up. And then let's take a look here. Now this is the uh, M1 Mac Mini. And this is, I think this was a Core i5 or something. And the height isn't the same, like I said, because the bottom is off of this one. But they are pretty much the same, right? Um, if we look at it kind of from that angle, you know, they look exactly the same. I'm gonna peel this off to expose the IO. So here's the old IO from back then. And this is, I think a couple generations ago because they replaced uh, the USB-A with USB-C Thunderbolt three ports. But let's take a look at the back IO of the new one. Now in comparison, the new one doesn't look like it get a lot. And that's actually true because in the, even in the, the version between these two, you had four Thunderbolt ports. Uh, on the old version, we had um, HDMI, Thunderbolt 2, four USB-As, memory card, and then you have a speaker and a headphone jack. Now on the new one, you get a lot of that same stuff. You get a couple USB-As, headphones, um, power, all the plug power, ethernet are all in the same spot. This one had a Firewire 800 in it. <laughs> That's right, this is old. HDMI on both. Uh, the vent on the M1 is actually quite a bit larger than on this one here, which is very interesting to me. But other than that, other than the IO, and if you see on the front, this one actually has an IR port. That, one's just, that one just has a little light there, a little spot for light. The uh, older one has an IR port, which is kind of interesting. Uh, they are exactly the same in every dimension, everything. So kind of interesting. So we're gonna put the old one aside because it is broken. This used to be my media server and I guess I had it on for too long. It's probably what happened. Didn't think you could do that with a Mac. So why did I get this one? Well, it is the cheapest entry into the M1 lineup which is good, especially if you own your own KVM and uh, capable video mouse. 
then you can just buy this guy and be off to the races. Now this particular one was just over a thousand bucks because I upgraded the uh, RAM to 16 gigs and upgraded the storage to 512 because I'm gonna, I wanted that option to be able to record to the hard drive if needs be, um, just in case I don't have an external hard drive with me. And most audio projects are never gonna reach that five, 512 gig mark. So uh, I would never feel, you know, I would never feel like it couldn't handle recording, you know, 96 tracks for an hour or so. So that's why I did this. But our main reason for doing this, um, this is going to be a production machine. It is not going to be a personal machine, a personal laptop or anything like that. It is a production machine. So we're gonna be running tests on the number of programs that I use for audio production. We'll, we'll do Pro Tools, Studio One, uh, Persona says Capture. Uh, we'll, pro we'll throw DaVinci on there to see how editing goes because yeah, my laptop is old enough that it, it, uh, it does not handle that very well anymore. So we're gonna throw that at it and see how it all works. There's a lot of videos out there with all this stuff, um, but this is this is uh, got the extra RAM in it. Instead of just being like the very base model, it has that extra RAM, so hopefully that gives us a little bit more to work with. So I'm gonna get hooked up and set up and then we'll start running some tests and we'll do that kind of down the line in, in some other videos specifically, because uh, I wanna spend a video on a specific test because I don't wanna cram them all into some, you know, hour long video. I want it to be a specific specific video for each thing we do. So we'll try that out and see how it rolls. And, and hopefully this little machine can grow with us. Cause I thought about it and I was, you know, while there's some programs that don't work, don't necessarily work with it natively right now, they will, right? Everybody's working on updates for the M1 chip. A lot of people already have them out. So why not jump in? You know, why not jump in and uh, see what I can do with it? And it'll grow and it'll evolve. And yes, better chips will come out, but this one is still pretty dang fast. So if this one's already this fast from what I've seen in benchmarks, just think what the next generations will do. But this is more than enough for audio production. So we'll give it a shot and, and see what she can do. So that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna do some tests on this thing and see how it responds. And if you want to see those videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit that little bell icon and that'll alert you when we put out a new video for this thing. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumb up and we will see you next time.